First of all, Prophet warned us that you have to open both of your eyes. If you open one eye, then you will lose the other one. The right eye is the eye of Ilm al Arwah, and the left eye is the eye of Ilm al Abdan, the knowledge of body and the knowledge of metaphysical sciences. Arwah, spirit, ruh, which you cannot understand fully. So, this is the knowledge which nobody understands about Ruh and this is the part, this is the test of unseen for all of the humanity. But you can sense that there is a conscious level. There is something we have inside our all the human beings, the self-contemplation, the self-evidence you have feel inside you, self-actualization. Then you think deepest figments, all these things, how from where I came from. And where I'm going to go, what is my eternal, uh, you know, life, life after death, eternal life. What is my <clears throat> ultimate goal? All these kind of questions, deep figments in your mind keep bothering you. And this is from the dawn of the ages, from the beginning of the humanity. Humans are thinking about deep inside their hearts and their, inside their minds that what will happen after our death. And this is what Allah says in the Quran. Allah gave you these answers. All of these deep questions are given in, in the Quran. Everything. But you need to check it. Why people become atheists? Because you do not have the knowledge of Quran and Islam. And they do not go into the, into the right direction to get those, these, uh, this guidance. Because the guidance can only come with the right methodology. And if you do not have it, what will happen? So everyone must be blamed, the society, the parents, the environment, your social circle, gatherings, rulers, system. If they never provide, there's no system of Islamic, social, political, economic, then what happens? Sooner or later, you're going to become agnostic, skeptic, atheist, etc.